Hello, my name is Banak Tamabong, and I'm a local artist from Iowa City. And I've been currently working with uh, Cedar Rapids uh, Murals and More Group uh, on a project that they approached me with several months ago. Uh, on this project, they wanted to depict the history of Cedar Rapids through the ages. And uh, I was approached to do the first portion of a Cedar Rapids mural trail. It's their hope that the trail extends uh, through the ages of Cedar Rapids from past to present, uh, depicting several periods of time. I was fortunate enough to get the early period, the very first one, uh, that's 1900 to 1925. Um, after several months of working with them, uh, we decided on a, a theme of historical figures montaged uh, with the backdrop of historical buildings um, that kind of depicted Cedar Rapids going from 1900 to 1925. So what you'll see in the mural is a left to right depiction of the early stages uh, all the way to 1925 of several historical figures that you may or may not recognize uh, but are very important to the history of Cedar Rapids. Once we had this concept down, uh, we also had to figure out how the physical aspects of the mural were going to come to light. We wanted this to be a unique mural, not just a mural that was a photograph that was pinned on the side of the building. We wanted something that would draw people in and uh, make Cedar Rapids stand out as something unique, uh, an icon of uniqueness, an icon of history. Um, and the way to do that was to create a mural that had three-dimensional aspects to it. These three-dimensional aspects uh, allow the mural to come to life. And that was basically the theme of, of, of what we were thinking of, history coming to life. Uh, as you go from left to right on the mural, you're going to see that things stay pretty flat, and then they come out to you, and they speak to you in full three dimension. Um, with this kind of in mind, uh, we again went back to the drawing board and worked back and forth. And I'm currently in the studio right now, um, and we're starting the painting process after a, a few months of arduous work, uh, but very joyful work, um, creating the, the basic panels that actually would be put onto the building. Um, it's been a very fulfilling project. Uh, I've enjoyed it very much, and my partner and I, Michael Sneller, uh, have done much of the groundwork for the canvases uh, to be painted on, and we're right now getting ready to do the actual artistic painting side of it, and we look very much forward to that. Um, the canvases I'm speaking of are uh, 5 by 10 panels of aluminum um, that will be modularly built and then they'll be taken to site, put together to form this mural that will be on the side of the building. And the mural is 18 by 20 um, and it's very, very large and very cumbersome to work with so we decided to section it off in smaller pieces uh, so that we could each work on little parts of it at a time. Uh, I haven't worked on a mural this large in a very long time, and uh, to do this project for Cedar Rapids, uh, it was a, a quite, a, quite an honor. Um, having been the very first of a long line of murals that are yet to come uh, was a, a key reason for, for me choosing this project and saying yes to the committee. Uh, another reason that, that I enjoy doing this project is that my painting background uh, very seldom gets used as a sculptor but I enjoyed uh, the, the opportunity to start painting again and uh, to have the painting hang in such a well-trafficked area as downtown Cedar Rapids will be uh, a wonderful thing for us, uh, both to advertise my artwork and to help the community get a sense of um, the historical nature of Cedar Rapids as well. Um, as we work through all the, uh, the, the concept of the project right now, and as we're doing the portraits and stuff, I kind of think about the history of Cedar Rapids as I'm doing it. Um, and some of the characters that kind of show up uh, surprise me uh, in, in that they chose Cedar Rapids as a place to be and as a place to kind of live and, and fulfill their lives. And here I am getting the, the same opportunity to kind of fulfill my career on a, a project that will uh, be part of history, hopefully. Um, and I encourage other artists to kind of come in and, and look at the project in, in the same way as they, they produce more of the, the timeline from the 1925s forward um, and, and think about what Cedar Rapids has to offer and what it has offered to uh, the artist community as well as the business community and arts and culture in general and the historical aspects of what's there, what's in front of us and kind of hidden. Um, 
and create more murals and, and more works of art that are, are unique and as unique as Cedar Rapids and represent the history in, in a way that's uniquely Iowan. Um, so if there are artists out there who are very interested in this um, uh, after the unveiling, come and see uh, uh, the Murals and More project and uh, please participate. Thank you very much.